Hi there, my name is Megan Taylor and I'm a doctoral student at the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health where we study musicians' health. In light of COVID-19, we have expanded our work to create these videos for student musicians to learn about instrument hygiene. Later in this video, you will learn how to clean your instrument. For now, I would like to remind you of some of the personal hygiene habits that can help keep our instruments clean. I know this can feel like a lot um, of things to try to remember when you're trying to play your instrument, uh, but the good news is that we're all in this together. Talk with your classmates and your teachers about how you plan to keep yourself and others safe during band and orchestra class. Also, remember to ask your teachers if you have any questions or if you need any help with anything that you're about to see in the remainder of this video. From all of us here at the We Mean Clean Project, Thank you for watching and stay healthy. Hello, my name is Justin Hooper. My coworker, Ann McMillan, and myself run the University of North Texas Instrument Repair Shop. Our jobs are to provide repair services to the university students, the university owned instruments, and the surrounding community. In addition to this, we teach classes in brass and woodwind instrument repair and maintenance, as well as offer workshops and clinics for band directors and music educators. We are excited to be partnering with the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health and the Texas Academy of Math and Sciences to bring you these series of videos on how to properly clean your instruments at home. Please note that this type of cleaning does not sterilize or disinfect an instrument, but if done on a regular basis, will keep your instrument in good working order and free of harmful buildup. If you feel your instrument needs that kind of attention, we urge you to please reach out to your local music store or your band director for further guidance. We would also like to note that you need to follow the instructions very precisely. Any deviation from the instructions as outlined in the video could cause harm to your instrument or yourself, so please be advised. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in these videos, please feel free to reach out to either Anne or myself. We hope you find these videos very helpful and informative. Hi, my name is Travis Harris. I'm a 10th grade trombone player at the Braswell High School. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your trombone at home. First, we're going to need a trombone. Next, we're just going to need some regular old dishwashing soap. We're going to need a washcloth, a towel, a slide snake, and a mouthpiece brush. You're also going to need a bathtub. I've already filled my tub up. It has lukewarm water in it, just warm to the touch. And squirt your soap in there as it's filling up. First, we're gonna gently take off the tuning slide and place it in the tub. Next, we're gonna take off our mouthpiece and also place it in the tub. Next, let's take off our slide, disassemble it, and place it in the tub. Make sure that water gets all the way through the slide and there's no air left in the slide. Lastly, we're going to place our bell in the tub as well. Now, let's grab our mouthpiece brush and scrub out our mouthpiece. Then let's place it back in the tub. Then we're going to grab our slide snake and clean out those high traffic areas. I'm going to run this slide snake all the way through my slide, all the way back out. Now I'm going to do it to the other side.
want to be careful so you don't damage your horn in the process. All the way through. Now let's do it to our outer slide. There's going to be a lot of water coming out. Let's do it to the other side. Now let's place it back in. Once again, submerging it completely in water. Now let's take out the bell section and scrub out the small end of our bell with the slide snake. Now let's scrub out our tuning slide. Let's put our slide snake down and grab our washcloth. Wet your washcloth in the water. Start scrubbing. See, we want to clean the outside and the inside of our horn to make sure it's all nice and clean. Because again, like I did with the mouthpiece, I'm going to gently scrub the slide, make sure it's nice and clean. All the way up. Let's do the same to the outer slide. For me, it helps to wrap the cloth around the horn as I'm scrubbing it so that I can get a better hold on the horn. Now let's pull the plug on our tub and let some of that water out. Now we're going to run some more water and run it through each part of our horn. Make sure it's that nice, warm water, not too hot, but warm. through our instrument. When you do this, make sure you're cupping the water into these slides so it's effectively going through the horn. You also need to make sure to rinse the outside of the your horn as well. Just so there's no soap residue on any of it.
Once again, I'm cupping the water with my hand so it runs all the way through. Oh, it's rinse the outside. As you can see, we're kind of piecing our corn back together one part at a time. Make sure the water is running all the way through the slide. Make sure to lock your slide as you put it back. Last piece is our tuning slide. Now let's grab our towel and wipe any excess water we may have on our horns off so that it's allowed to dry properly. Congratulations, you just cleaned your horn. Now stay safe, keep practicing, and have a good day.